We're talking holster hacks today at Pole Performance, and I'm gonna show you some quick, easy, and inexpensive ways to make your carry holsters more concealable and more comfortable. Two really important attributes in a concealed carry situation, especially if it's gonna be a long day. 10, 12, 14 hour days, comfort matters. I'm gonna get this pile of stuff out of the way just for a second, and we'll talk hardware. If you notice, there are screws, there are spacers, there are grommets and washers and all kinds of stuff in this little bucket. You also see the first hack of the day would be if you don't have the right size rubber grommet, you can get quarter inch or three eighths inch rubber hose, which is virtually the same size, and you can cut your own piece and it works beautifully. I've done it a million times. Matter of fact, that holster has a piece in it right now. So all of this can be purchased uh, from the wedges, you know, different loops and clips, concealment wings can all be purchased from Harry's Holsters. Check him out. The website link is in the description down below and use coupon code POE for 10% off your order. Before we get to the holsters, let's talk about what this stuff is. This is a remnant of a thigh brace from my high school basketball playing days in the 80s. Yes, guys, it hasn't dry rotted and it hasn't just completely disintegrated. So I guess they built materials pretty well back then. And uh, you might be wondering, why is it cut into remnants? Well, I'm going to get to that in just a second. But you can pick these up. This will make sense in a second. Thigh braces, knee, ankle, whatever you want, as long as they're a good, soft, comfortable neoprene, preferably with some sort of a cloth on it like this, anywhere from eight to $12, which is relatively inexpensive and it's worth it. And I'm gonna show you how I apply it here in just a second. We take this Kydex holster, first of all, I'm gonna tell you right now, don't look at this and think this is Harry's, all right? This is uh, one that I have for a different gun uh, and it's just one I tinkered with and played around with. It's a range holster and it's one that I tinker and play with, okay? You can see the concealment wing, which helps pull the grip back into the body. Another way to do that is by applying a wedge to the back of the holster. Many people will put a wedge on and that also helps with comfort and not only helps drive the gun, let's get it right, drive the gun back this way, but also the grip back into the body, if that makes sense, okay? Now, <clears throat> you might see some of that material on the back of the holster, and if you figured out already, yes, that takes the place of a wedge, and we're gonna talk more in detail about that in just a second. The wedges are comfortable. What I have found is that over long days, they can kind of drive that little top portion right there into your lower belly and it can get a little bit uncomfortable after a while, all right? So wedges are great, but I wanted to find something that was more comfortable and I found it. <laughs> I dug out my old thigh brace from high school. I applied some industrial strength Velcro. I would suggest using the good stuff. I think it's 3M if I remember right. Fasten it to your holster, fasten it to the neoprene, and it's not going anywhere, okay? Especially when you put this up against your body, you wear it for long hours, and with your body heat, it kind of helps make that glue even more sticky to the holster. Now, if you wanted to remove it, take the Velcro off, you can use some sort of a solvent, wipe the glue off, and you would never even know it's there. So it's not a modification that's going to harm your holster in any way, shape, or form, okay? Now, not only does this provide concealment, like the wedge, only a little bit smaller degree. Sometimes the wedge can stuff it so far back that the grip is really digging into your belly also. So there's always that balance. I found this to be a really, really nice balance. Obviously, it's gonna help drive the gun back into you a little bit, but it's also gonna provide comfort. Something soft is definitely more comfortable than something hard against your body. That's, uh, that's a no-brainer. When we take a piece of plastic like this, an appendix, and we drive that back into the belly, we sit and we move around, uh, it's obviously not gonna be as comfortable as a soft material like this neoprene, all right? So guys, that is a beautiful thing on a Kydex holster, and it works. I even put it on a stealth gear. Now the comfort, eh, I wasn't so concerned with the comfort except in one area, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. I love the backing of the Stealth Gear. They are so comfortable against the skin, especially when it's hot out. They're breathable, uh, just really, really comfortable, okay? Uh, if you look at the Stealth Gear, the only place you're gonna face discomfort sometimes at appendix. 
Now these principles are mostly for appendix, but you can use your imagination and apply these to a hip holster as well. But right here, and there's my, uh, my hacked spacer for a bigger gun. Uh, guys, this is an old holster. It's kind of a trial holster. Uh, it's kind of like this one. It's just one that I tinker with, mess around with. It's my, my test holster. I see if things are going to work before I move them over to the real, real deal. Um, so right here is where sometimes you're going to get discomfort. And at appendix, that's going to be kicked over to the side. And sometimes when you sit, this portion of the holster is going to be the most firm, as you can see, because that's where the screw mounts through. Okay. Same application. It's just Velcro and it sticks beautifully even onto this material. Again, if you pull it off, it doesn't even leave a residue. Now you might notice that there are two different sizes and shapes. Well, the holster's a different shape, but they're different sizes, and you're gonna have to adjust that based on what you want for comfort and concealability. Um, if you make it too small, it starts to feel like the wedge. It's really pinpointed. I found that spreading it out over the holster bigger, as big as possible, without taking up the whole back, because then it makes it a really bulky feel, uh, but you want to distribute that weight and that pressure out over the belly, all right? So guys, that is enough on that. Again, eight to 12 bucks, you can pick up a brace like this, and it's easy, uh, you know, industrial strength Velcro, you got an easy, inexpensive hack that, trust me, is way more comfortable than any wedge you're gonna put on, okay? so. Turning it over, we take a look at the concealment wing. <clears throat> now, Stealth Gear makes a concealment wing holster called a Scorpion, but I think it comes out a little wide. Sorry, Stealth Gear, I love your holsters, but it takes up a lot of real estate in an area that can drive into your leg, especially when you sit, okay? So you might notice this little guy right here. That serves the same purpose as a concealment wing. Now, I made that one out of an old loop. That's all it is, and you can see it right there. I just cut a loop off and I bolted it onto the clip. It works fantastic, and it doesn't increase the real estate down here in the area that's going to hit you in the leg or the lower stomach. So that is a really cheap, inexpensive hack. Anybody can do it. You drill a hole, get you some hardware from Harry's, and you guys can throw anything like this together that you need using your creativity and your imagination to be more comfortable and more concealable when you're concealed carrying.